In the previous video, we used linear regression with an artificial data set okay, that we made using make regression. Here, we're going to perform linear regression using a real data set. So what I want to show is acousticness versus energy. Came okay, back to Altair. I much prefer Altair to Matplotlib. And I mean, it certainly doesn't look perfectly linear as you wouldn't expect it to from a real world data set but still it looks like we could learn something from finding the line of best fit for this data. So uh, let's try to do that. So for example, if the line of best fit has negative slope, which it looks like it will, then that says that as acousticness increases, the energy tends to go down. Okay, that would be one example of something we'd learn from performing linear regression on this, um, on these two variables. So, okay, let's again do REG equals linear regression. And now I want to do REG dot fit. And so what's supposed to go here is X. So X is like acousticness. And I'm going to make an extremely common mistake here. Okay, and if you haven't already used scikit-learn with this kind of fitting, you'll never be able to see what the mistake is. So let me show you. So input is this acousticness. Output is supposed to be energy. Okay, let's try this and see what goes wrong. And so it says expected 2D array got 1D array instead. And this is also secretly related to the fact that if you come up here, why was I writing X with a capital X? And why was I writing Y with a lowercase Y? That was my way, and it's a conventional way, that was my way of reminding myself that I should think of X as some two-dimensional thing, like a data frame, not a series, or like a two-dimensional NumPy array, not a one one-dimensional NumPy array. That's what the capital X was reminding me of, whereas the lowercase y was saying one-dimensional is fine. It's so like a pandas series is fine. doesn't have to be a pandas data frame. And so how can I change this? Well, uh, one easy way to change it is don't give um, df brackets, don't give it a string, instead give it a list. Okay, here I'm going to give it this length one list that only has df acousticness in it. Okay, so like if I look at df acousticness, okay, without the double brackets, okay, this is a one-dimensional thing. It's a pandas series. It has an index and has values, but doesn't have two dimensions. Whereas if I put this inside of double square brackets, so that's like saying, give me the sub data frame containing these columns. So it looks very similar, but now we can really think of it as a data frame. Like if you were to check the type, this type would be a pandas series, this type would be a pandas data frame. Okay, and now this is not going to give me the error that we saw up above. Okay, and let's see what reg.intercept is. 0 0.72. So what that's saying is the line of best fit, it should go through approximately 0 0.72 on the y-axis or on the energy axis. Okay, and that looks very believable, 0 0.72. And what about the slope? Okay, the slope is reg.coef. Okay, and slope is negative 0 0.35. So one thing to notice is because it's negative, that's like saying these two are sort of negatively correlated with each other. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm using correlated in the precise sense or not, but w what I mean by it is that as acousticness increases, energy decreases. And that's the exact same thing that the precise uh, meaning of negative correlation suggests. So here we used uh, this linear regression object from scikit-learn to find like what's the intercept and what's the coefficient for the line of best fit for acousticness versus energy. And so if we were to uh, try to predict what's the line of best fit, we would predict y equals negative 0 0.35 times x 
I'm rounding here, plus 0 0.72. That's the line of best fit we'd, we'd predict for this, uh, this data, where x is the acousticness value and y is the energy value.